Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. I want to show you a neat little trick today in After Effects, which involves time stretching of a composition or of a layer. This is a very handy trick you will use very often while working in After Effects, but be aware there are some downsides to this technique, which I want to explain you in this tutorial. So let me quickly hit Ctrl or Command Y to create a new solid, so we have something in our composition to work with. And I create a new text Let's simply call it new. I place the text here and I keyframe it really quickly. I press the P key to open up the position. And I have two keyframes now, which take two seconds to play, as you see on the timeline. I hit space to preview them. All right, there is a two seconds animation, which plays along the composition. And the new layer, the text layer is very long. Let me bring it down to those two seconds, okay, and show you the stretching. I right click on the layer, I go to time, and I select time stretch. In this example, I would like to stretch it to four seconds. So I go to the new duration, I press four, and I hit okay. As you can notice now on the timeline, the animation takes four seconds. I was a bit unprecise here, but let's say it will take four seconds as I adjust it. With a few simple clicks, I stretched out this layer to take four seconds to play. With such a simple animation, there was no problems because it only extended to four seconds, the keyframe stretched also, and everything's fine. But what happens if I pre-compose it and I stretch a composition? I go to time, time stretch, and I, for example, reduce its duration to five seconds. When I go inside the composition, all layers remain the same, just as they were. But if you click on the composition and you see the composition is shorter by 50% as I selected and the animation now plays again for two seconds. So remember that you can time stretch certain layers or even entire compositions. But if you time stretch the composition, the layers will remain untouched as they were before. If you intend to use stretching a lot in the particular work you are doing and you are aware of the consequences, you can go to the columns in either place you want, right click on it, hit columns and hit stretch. A new option appears near every layer and now you have the stretching easier. Let me show you another example of using stretching. I have a simple GIF file here, maybe let's hide the text. That's a sort of a street fighter running. And right now, he's running really fast. Let's say I would like him to run for two seconds and run a bit slower. So I simply hit the stretch panel. I stretch it out to about two seconds and he runs longer and slower. This goes a bit too slow now. What I could do to fix it, but this only applies to animation GIFs, TIFFs and animation sequences after effects as a possibility to loop it. So you go to this little icon, interpret footage, you click on it. And on the far bottom side, you have the loop options. Let me loop it 10 times. So I have a bit more of footage. I open the footage and now the runner would run the entire way 10 times. I'll reduce the stretch now to make him run really, really fast. Let's preview this now. This is getting a bit too fast, but you get the idea. Stretching influences the length either of a layer or of an entire composition, so be aware of that. The biggest problem arises when there is sound involved, because if you stretch a composition which has sound, the sound gets squished and doesn't sound as the original audio file. So always remember to use stretch wisely, but it's a quick solution if you really want to remap the time of all layers at one time. I know this was a lot of informations now, but time stretching is a very complex feature in a software like After Effects, there are dozens of ways to change the time of a footage. Time stretching is just one of them, but I think it's really the most handy one and the simplest one. If I would have here a logo intro, maybe without a sound, just an animation, I would have everything set here, everything perfect to five seconds and the client says you, well, the animation is great, but could you make it, for example, one second longer because I somehow feel this animation 
would be more smooth and proper when it would take one second more. You can say no problem, pre-compose everything, right click on the composition, time time stretch, stretch it by one second and you have the entire job done without going to each single layer, changing the keyframe, changing the animation, shifting everything around and working with it. That's a really simple and quick solution. Thank you for your attention here, sorry it took so long. If you want to see more of such tutorials about motion graphics and PowerPoint and similar software, please subscribe to this channel to support me and see such tutorials in the future. My name is Andrzej Pach, this was a tutorial about time stretching, thank you for your attention and see you in the next one.